Well, the new year is just around the corner and if you're already feeling a little overwhelmed or burnt out, then we've got just the thing to help you achieve your goals. Step Into You is a new book by best-selling author, entrepreneur and mentor Lorraine Murphy. It's been described as the ultimate life guide for anyone lacking motivation or feeling overwhelmed, which is quite a number, of, <laughs> quite a number of people right now. Lorraine Murphy joins us now. Morning to you, Lorraine. This is your Good morning. fourth book. It draws from your mentoring experience about the biggest stumbling box, particularly women can encounter. I loved one thing you said about being a low res version of yes. yourself, which is how a lot of us are feeling at the moment. Yeah, for sure. I think it's, it's been a big couple of years for sure. <laughs> so yeah, I think, I think the timing of the book is perfect as we embark on hopefully a much calmer uh, 2022. I think it's a really good time to really just check in with ourselves. And, and as you say, we need to step out of that low res version of ourselves into the, the full potential that we can have for our lives. Lorraine, time, we often say, don't we, there's not enough hours in the day. We feel like there's not enough time to pursue our goals. What sort of advice do you have? I think the biggest thing I would say is to start tiny. You know, whether it's starting your own business or it's getting on a health kick, just starting tiny, even if it's just 5, 10, 20 minutes a day. I think a big block that a lot of us have when it comes to achieving our goals is that we think we need hours every single day to make them happen. And unfortunately for most of us, those are, hours aren't always readily available. So I, I like to say to my mentees, it's just, just start tiny. Even if it's five, 10 minutes towards your goal each day, at least then in a week, two weeks, a month's time, you'll have, you'll have banked a certain amount of time towards making your goals a reality. So I'd all, I would say start tiny. And the other thing I would say as well is to focus on your energy. I think a lot of us spent a huge amount of time trying to carve out time to make the things that we want to make happen in our lives. And I think if we can focus on our energy and trying to approach whatever small pockets of time we do have to make our goals a reality, to, to approach them as energized as we can be, I think that makes a huge difference as well. And I've got a couple of chapters on energy management in the book because I think it's something a lot of us do tend to forget. Yeah. What about those negative thoughts, Lorraine? I think a lot of women are particularly guilty of this. You might yes. fall off the wagon and then you're off and you feel like you can't get back on. How, how do you overcome that, that mental approach to it? Yeah, such a good question. The big thing I would say is to check back in with why you wanted to start in the first place. I think if it's, for example, starting a new health kick, we can hit the gym really hard for the first two, three weeks, and then we start to fall off the wagon because life starts to get in the way. So I think a big thing is to remember why why we wanted to start in the first place. Why did we commit to, to making that, that goal a reality in the first place? The other thing I would say as well is you're not alone. Everyone struggles mm. with, with making things happen, whether it's putting in place habits or, or new goals. So remember that you're not alone. And the other thing that I like to remember as well is to think about discipline rather than motivation. I, I, I see motivation as being something that's quite external to us and we can't always control it. Whereas discipline, we can choose to show up for ourselves each day. So yeah. I like to remember that as well. It's, it's just concentrate on discipline rather than feeling magically motivated every single day because it's, it's just not realistic. Lorraine, it's perfect timing heading into the new year. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And Lorraine's book Step Into You is out today in bookstores and online. The timing is absolutely perfect.